In this video, I wanted to introduce a few probability problems through the use of the classic sock drawer problems. So in this first problem, we've got two pink socks, three green socks, and an orange sock in, in a drawer. And so we want to know what is the probability of choosing a pink sock than a green sock. So these events are kind of like the probability of pink then green, we can say. When we encounter problems like this, they are independent except for the fact that we have to make sense of the replacement or non-replacement of the socks. So if I pick out a pink sock first off, I have one, two, three, four, five, six socks and two of them are pink. So my probability of drawing out a pink sock is two out of six. Then let's say I got rid of this pink sock and I'm not going to replace it in my drawer. Now I want to pull out a green sock. So now the probability of drawing a green sock isn't three out of six, it's actually only three out of five. When we encounter something like this, we are going to multiply. When we multiply, we end up with six out of 30, which is three out of 10 or 0.3. There's another type of problem, which is what is the probability of drawing an orange sock or a pink sock? In this case, the key word is or. So when you think or, you want to think add. So before, we had then, so we were multiplying. Now that we have add, what we're going to do is first let's draw, we could think we could draw an orange sock or we could draw a pink sock. So what we're gonna do for an orange sock is that is a one out of six. And now we're going to add it to the probability that we could draw a pink sock, which is two out of six. So we end up with the probability of three out of six or 0 0.5. And you can also see that just by thinking, well, these would work or these would work, which is three out of six. And finally, we have a problem that says, what is the probability of picking a green or a pink sock in the first two picks without replacement? So without replacement means I'm not going to draw a sock and put it back into the drawer, right? I'm going to draw a sock and then put it on my foot, then draw another sock. So if I want to wear a pink and green sock, what I could do is I could either pick out a pink and then a green, or I could pick out a green, then a pink. So first, let's think out what would be the probability of picking out a pink than a green? If I did this, I would have a two out of six and I would multiply it then. I've drawn my pink sock. So now I only have a three out of five chance of drawing a green, which ends up being six out of 30 or 0.3. On the other hand, I could draw a green sock first, in which case I have a three out of six chance of doing that. Once I've drawn a green sock, I have a two out of five chance of drawing a pink sock. And remember, I'm going to multiply. So I end up with six out of 30, which is again 0.3. Those are the two different ways I can wear a green and a pink sock. So in total, I'd have to add either I draw pink green or I draw a green pink. It's kind of, this is kind of an or problem, which means I take 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3, which is 0 0.6. So that means there is a 60% chance that if I just reach in blindly, I'm going to be wearing a pink and green sock. 